Going through school, I always loved history. And so uh, kind of by default, I ended up going into social science education and I didn't like love economics at first. But then, you know, I realized that understanding economics helped me understand history better, it helped me understand politics better. And I think that that's what's great about economics is that if you love math, you can study econometrics and learn more about, you know, math. If you love environmental science, you can study environmental economics. Maybe you took a psychology class and loved it. Well, let me introduce you to behavioral economics. And so I think that it's such a broad field and that's why I think it connects with so many students and that's why I love teaching economics. GCE has been instrumental in my development as a teacher. My first year as a teacher, I was you know, lost in the classroom. I felt I, I understood economics, but I didn't have the framework. And those first GCE workshops I went to kind of showed me that framework. And you know, here we are, you know, 20 something years later, I've been to so many different GCE workshops and I always take something great back to my students. But also it's, it's given me the confidence to to take the framework of putting the students in the center of whether it's a simulation or a role-playing exercise. And I can now take their lessons and kind of make them my own a little bit, take bits and pieces, even sometimes create my own using the framework that I learned at the GCE workshops. And so it's definitely made me a better teacher and it's been uh, instrumental for my students as well. I remember like the first day of his class, we did this paper plane simulation and it really taught me like the factors of production and stuff. So he has very like good ways of keeping students interested by doing simulations or like providing a real life example to things. So it's really helpful for me. I think that students enjoy Mr. Isley's class because he works so hard to engage them in the content. It's not just about covering the standards, but it's about making them real for the students. When he gets them to rent their desk, or pay for that pencil through his economic points. He really does try to keep in front of them or at, in their mindset that idea of cost-benefit analysis that he wants them to walk out of his class with every day. He makes learning authentic. When students have that light bulb moment, that's really the most rewarding part of my job. You know, once you learn the economic way of thinking, you can attack any problem. So I know that I've given them a skill set that they're gonna use in life. That this is something that has relevance and it's something they need. I think Mr. Isaac is so deserving of this award and I'm just so proud of him.